This is Hollywood's most wanted man. But if he's feeling the heat, he's certainly not showing it. Kim.com is on a high. His new storage website, Mega, is already worth millions of dollars. So he's now taking on a new challenge and launching his own political party. The Internet Party was born out of this injustice. I was pulled out of my happy bubble and my life of creation and innovation. And, you know, I had all these ideas lined up and all these websites that we wanted to launch. So it woke me up to a whole new reality. Kim is out on bail and he's now using his multi-millions to fund the Internet Party. They want to make major changes to the law in New Zealand. We want to bring Internet freedom to the agenda and we want to make sure that uh, high technology is uh, you know, an economic factor here in New Zealand. All of that is going to be open source democracy. I've been invited to spend some time behind the scenes with Kim and his closest advisors as they hit the campaign trail. Today we were going to meet a breakaway political group known as the Mana Party. Kim wants and needs their support if the internet party has had any chance of winning a seat in the upcoming elections. The goal is to find out if there are common grounds for us to work together in an alliance. Well, what what will you be to the Kim was also hoping to convince the national media that his party should be taken seriously. He received a traditional Maori welcome, but the feeling of a media circus was not lost on the Mana Party's leader. I'm absolutely convinced at this moment that all of the media in this country is here to hear what it is that I have to say. With the formalities over, all Kim had to do now was to win their support. MANA is about social fairness. And who in his right mind could not be for social fairness? I'm for social fairness. The day had been a success, but some still question where his motivation was really coming from. Kim says a lot of it is down to one man, Edward Snowden. Well, to me personally, he is a hero. His sacrifice will be remembered as one of the most heroic things of our time. He has opened the eyes of the world to an injustice. And because we know about it, we can do something about it. So I'm grateful to him. Have you ever spoken to him? Mm, yes. And what, what was your discussion? Um, I don't want to go into that. Who's your daddy? People here haven't always liked Kim.com. At first he was seen as just a rich foreigner using New Zealand as a safe haven. But the raid changed everything. He's now a celebrity. We watch him on the news and whatnot, and he just seems like an honest person. The internet party now has more than a thousand paid up members. While I was visiting, he invited them to the mansion. I actually don't know much about the dude, um, but you know, if he's um, starting, starting up something like this, but seems to have some good intentions, then. I'm willing to, um, to hopefully learn to find out a bit more about him. Our internet is under attack. But even with all this enthusiasm and energy, Kim.com's legal problems still remain in a lot of people's minds. Those lawsuits just keep on coming, and a lot of very powerful people want to see him in jail. It seems to be the Kim.com party starring Kim.com. I mean, today, at his speech, he, he, he was the only one who spoke. He didn't have any candidates speaking. He, so um, distancing themselves from their creator would probably be something we'll have to look into. Kim has the support, and he has the money, and he has his own sense of unwavering belief in his innocence. But if he is forced to go to the US, none of that will matter. He faces more than 20 years in prison. Well, it's never going to happen. You know, I think the extradition will fail because copyright is not an extraditable offence in New Zealand. They chopped on these extra charges, you know, using the Transnational Organised Crime Treaty to basically uh, sell the court a story here that we are the Mafia. And that's not going to fly. There's no evidence to support that at all, you know, uh, so they're, they're going to lose. I'm happy. I've embraced this fight now and I will see it through all the way. Kim describes his battle as David versus Goliath versus Godzilla versus the dinosaurs. The big question now is whether Hollywood will be granted its wish to put him on trial. He will find out in July. Ah, how are you? <laughs>